So I was wrong. You're not deaf? No, I am not. Perhaps I am life. But then again, does it really matter? What is this place? What will happen next? Um, damn. Um, this is throwing some shit at me. Okay, what is this place, though? What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom. And this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. So, what will happen next? What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Okay, well. Uh, you need to fix this painting now. Touch? <laughs> Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lie to yourself. Damn. Strange lady. Look at. Is she really here? Maybe it's all just a dream after all. Let's talk to her. Now we can talk properly, my dear. I still don't really know who you are. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Is there anyone else here? Yeah, I still don't really know who you are. I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why, maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. I guess that's me. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. I'm gonna ask, is there, is there anyone else here? Even though I know she said, I think it's the both of us, I'm still gonna ask. Is there anyone else here? <laughs> I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I 
brushed your hair every night, you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. I actually really like the, the, the Queen of Maggots voice, actually. It's very nice. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not Ordinary people, they're very special, just like you, only in a slightly different way. Hmm. The fuck is she talking about? I'm a failure, why did you choose me? Those five people, who are they? What makes you think I want to go back? What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. Let's say the first one. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. Alright, so who are these five people? Those five people? Who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? 
You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Are you expecting me to kill them? Yeah, does she want me to murder her? Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference and the chance to save yourself. Hmm. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. That's back. Blackmail. You can't do that. This all must just... Oh, this this all must be just a weird dream. I can't believe... I don't believe you. Oh my god. I can't read. I can't read anything. Um, I really don't know what to say. It's blackmail. You can't do that. This all must be a weird dream. I don't believe you. Um, uh, I'll, say the, I'll say the second one. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you can't. Crucified all along in one place that changed it all. I really don't want to be here. I hit the wrong button. Let's pull that crowbar out. Ah. 
as useful as this thing can be, there's nothing I can do with this crowbar. Um, what does she want me to do? Susan, it's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Take orders from nobody I'll do it my way. Does that mean I still wake up without that gift she said about the immortality? And like will the game let me do it that way? Um I'll just do it. I'll just say fine, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do what you want. Fine. I'll do what you want. I'm glad you have put your trust in me. I... I haven't really got anyone else. You shall not regret this, my dear. Lights up! Oh. Okay. We're, We're back yeah. in the house. Yes. But there is something else that must be done. You cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, to... my child. This is a mere formality I am speaking of. The door to your world won't open unless you make a sacrifice of soul and a sacrifice of blood. It doesn't sound good at all. See those candles here? Just blow one out, and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. Then on your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much, just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much, exactly? Don't be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Tell me about the sacrifice in soul. Tell me about the sacrifice of blood. Fine, I'll do it. Wish me luck, strange lady. Tell me about the sacrifice of soul. Tell me about the sacrifice of soul. Like I said, it's just a formality. See those candles here? Just blow one out, and that's it. But which one? You can choose. It doesn't matter as long as you do it. Okay, tell me about the sacrifice of blood, because that sounds hella sketchy. Tell me about the sacrifice of blood. Like I said, it's just a formality. On your way out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Not much, just a bit. Enough to open the door. How much, exactly? Don't be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Okay, so she basically just told me the same thing. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll do it. Wish me luck, strange lady. Fine. I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. When you leave my house, head to the field. That's where you should be. Okay. Goodbye, my child. I'm not going to be far. I've never been. So I get to pick a candle. Hmm. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, let's blow this out. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. Ooh. 
See how easy that was? Now, head back to the field. You've got a job to do, Susan. You got it, strange lady. Do this. What the? How did I get back here? Okay. Is my body still there? My body is still there. She says she has many names, but her name is Queen of Maggots. She didn't specifically say who she was. I asked if she was Death, that makes more sense, but... I, I don't know. Um... Wait, no, we gotta get the key for this, right? Yeah, let's see who's dead. Hmm? Oh. Okay. This is planks. Pool, look through. What is it? There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Okay. Machine. What is this? Too long. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. Now let's switch it on. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button for this machine. How do you turn it on? So I think, I think since I have the crowbar, I need to use a crowbar on these planks, right? Let's use it and see. That worked. But I don't understand what... That looks so nasty. I don't understand what this is supposed to reach inside, okay? Let's see. Oh, oh my god! What the fuck? What the hell? What do I do? Oh no, they closed the door on me. blood sacrifice a little bit of blood a sharp cut fuck you bitch oh my god I can't this is how the game fucking comes on her running with her arm cut off was fucking lit that was awesome <laughs> all right guys that is the end of part two holy goddamn this game is amazing if you guys like this game or my gameplay make sure to give me a like and if you guys want to keep up with the videos i post go ahead and subscribe and i will definitely see you next time I am just Nikki, signing off. Bye guys.